This afternoon, cracks within the NDC side in Parliament are further deepening at alarming levels as the North Tongue Member of Parliament, Samuel Okujeta Blackwa, resigns over controversy about the approval of President Ekufado's ministers. In a letter dated March 30, addressed to the Speaker, Alban Kingsford Bagbin, he explained that this was after days of careful reflection and thoughtful considerations. Join News' sources say this latest decision was triggered by the approval by consensus of the Finance Minister Ken Oforiata. Let's take a look at the content of his letter. Resignation uh, from the Appointments Committee, I humbly present um, for considerable felicitations, pardon me. He says that this will formally convey my decision to discontinue my membership of the Appointments Committee after days of careful reflection and thoughtful consideration. Parliamentary correspondent Kwesi Parker Wilson will soon be joining us, but first, on Tuesday, Borga Central MP Isaac Adongo criticized the minority leadership for consenting to the approval of Ken Oforiata as finance minister. He insists Mr. Oforiata epitomizes all that is wrong with the country's economy and shouldn't have been given approval by consensus. He described as disappointing the explanation provided by the leadership of the NDC that Mr. Oforiata was approved because he has messed up the economy world nobody discusses rate of debt accumulation and it is important because we have one of the most renowned economists who is fixated on an archaic analysis of rate of debt accumulation and i'll tell you why it is not relevant globally if i inherit a debt portfolio of 9.2 billion ghana cities and i double that portfolio to say 20 billion but I am able to use just 10% of my, intra, my, 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 my tax revenue to service that and leave about 90% for development. But somebody says that he's doing a, debt, a rate of debt accumulation of 50%. But that person is using 65% of his tax revenue to finance the interest cost, leaving only 35% for development. You now see why nobody is interested in rate of debt accumulation. Because 100% of 9 billion is P0 compared to 50% of 300 billion. Okay? So Dr. Mahmoud Baumia should understand that globally we have moved on. We are now looking at the fiscal risk and the level of external vulnerability that our public debt impacts on the country. And the fiscal risk is what I've just explained. When 65% of your fiscal resources are dedicated to payment of interest. That level of risk returns growth and development and makes your debt portfolio unsustainable. Whilst the one that takes only 10% of your tax revenue, no matter the rate at which it was accumulated, is more sustainable and provide the appropriate fiscal space to fund development and growth. I don't know where some of them learned this economist. When they came, you recall that the conversation was around primary balance. And that they said that our primary balance was negative, even though they were later exposed when they reported to IMF. I did not want to be seen as endorsing somebody that I believe is a scam on Ghana. Ken Oforiata epitomizes all that is wrong with our financial and the economic sector of Ghana. And I'm the last person to endorse such a move. And that is why I wanted the records to show that I'm absent. So I did not even go there to sign. If there's anybody who will put his life on the line to get Ken Oforiata not to be a minister for finance, you can wake me up any day. But it's a collective decision. I disagree with the decision, but I respect the view Because the international investor was of the view that with the IMF and ICE consistently applying the zero financing of the budget, 
we will continue along those lines. And that even if we were to suspend that, we will go to the Bank of Ghana and that says you can only take 5% of your total revenue that you have generated. I don't see how 5% of 55 billion will give you 22 billion. Dr. Addicts Mathematics. And you are now standing there asking investors to give you more money. When you can print money, why do you want them to give you money? When you are not willing to obey your own laws and to be committed to the promises we make to international investors, that we will be very prudent in making sure that we don't go back to the return of monetary dominance over fiscal policy. 